Hey everyone, Zell here, and today we're going to be looking at the last word. A fully automatic hand cannon that is simply amazing, not only for that fact. So we're going to take a look at it and see what it can do and uh, get an in-depth look at it. So, first off, looking at the flavor text, yours, not mine. Renegade Hunter Shin Malfur to Dredge in Yor. That is the flavor text here. And now, the only reason I bring that up is because... Dredgen Yor was really looked upon highly, and then he was really looked down upon. And why that's interesting is because I've been hearing some talk about how the thorn is actually the last word corrupted by the hive. So I just wanted to put that out there. Let me know what you think about that, or if you've heard anything about that yourself before we continue. Now, for the magazine size, it's 8, and the impact is rather high. However, the magazine size I think could be better, and this is why. Fanfire. This weapon can be fired quickly and continuously. That is fully automatic, just worded differently. And then it's connect damage. But since it is full auto, you had to think of you you go through those bullets rather quickly. Let's take a look at that first here. Soft ballistics, less recoil, penalty to impact. Smart drift control, predictable and controllable recoil, penalty to range. Aggressive ballistics, more predictable recoil, enhanced impact, shorter range, and more recoil. I still feel like aggressive ballistics is the best choice here because extra impact is very nice for all the other stats this gets we have hip fire this weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hit hip which is rather unique and also a very nice trait we have a damage upgrade and for the second tier upgrades we have single point sling so which weapons faster move quicker while aiming high caliber rounds oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling their mass makes a weapon harder to handle and perfect balance this weapon has extremely low recoil. Now, I think for single point sling, this doesn't make any sense because this weapon is about hip fire, and this is going to become even more apparent on the next upgrade. So I went with high caliber rounds, and I'm not even worried about perfect balance because this thing is already very, very, very stable. And then for the upgrade, which makes this gun what it is, last word. Bonus damage and stability, extra precision damage when firing from the hip. So hand cannons already have high precision damage. This gives it even more. And then after that, there's just damage upgrades. So what makes this gun so cool? Well, when you take it out, did you see that flip? Let me show it to you again. See how he takes it out? And let's listen. It even has that little swishy sound. Now, also one thing to notice about the sounds of this gun is that it sounds amazing. You'll hear when I actually start firing it. Also, it fires differently from other guns. So, when you fire it, let's find this Acolyte here. Notice how he actually pulls back the trigger. The hammer on the back of the gun, rather. He pulls that back to, fi to fire. And that's the single. But when you actually go full auto... See how stable that is? It's really stable. And it really wipes out anything that you're looking to attack with it. Which is really nice. Also, it does have good accuracy if you can... Uh, I should be getting headshots any second here. But it really makes you have that desperado feel. And that's what I really like about this gun is it makes you feel like a different type of gunman compared to everything else here. There's the there's the damage right there. So 708 damage when your normal attacks hit from 210 to 220. That's a large precision damage increase. So that's what makes this gun so potent is that if you can aim with it, it hits for a ton. It really does. Now, I'm not sure why I'm not being able to right now. I think my aim is just a little bit wonky, unfortunately. But uh, it's a fun gun. This gun has a lot of cool things. When you flip it out, it flips around. It reloads pretty quickly, too, so you don't have to worry about that. And the firing itself is sounding very strong. And also, the fan fire is amazing. When you can do that against a boss and unload all your rounds very quickly and very accurately into a large crit point, this thing becomes amazing, and nothing can beat it, as far as hand cannons are concerned, and most primaries. So, that's the review on the last word. It's an exotic hand cannon that's obtained randomly, and thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like if you want to support the video and myself and what I'm doing here, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!